Hello everybody, I'm back with another journaling video, my fourth one. And this is a new journal that you haven't seen before. So I hope you like it and let's get started. So here we are with the washi tape that I'm using for this journal. Um, there's a weird cut there because <clears throat> when I was putting it on, I was like all up in the camera and you could see like everything, like all my face and all that and we don't need to see all that. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that's why there was a weird cut. But yeah, this this time I only used one um, washi tape and it wasn't in that many parts of the, of the journal you're going to see right now. Um, just there at the top and I'm gonna put it like on the side and that's pretty much it So that piece of paper, um, like I don't think it, <laughs> it really fit now that I'm like looking back at it, the theme or the colors, I mean on the, on the color palette that I was using there was blue but I think I should have changed that, but at the end it's still gonna be like mostly covered up so it's not that bad, but yeah, um, I feel like on this size journal it's easier to make a journal for me. Even though I have, I have, I mean, I have the other sketchbook and I have to finish that too. But um, at least for this particular journal, I couldn't fit up, like fill up a whole page without it looking weird. So I just decided to do it like this. And um, yeah, I like those colors for it. This is a random piece of paper that I, it was left off of one of the journals that I did, so I decided to use it here. I use four of those little pieces, but um, I used one on that left page and the other three on the right page, and you're gonna see them like, later on, what they look like. And I really thought that it was gonna be a nice touch on one of the on the sides, so that's why I included it there. Another blue piece, and I think that maybe I shouldn't have included the color blue on this pan the color palette but um i mean at the end it looks all right so that's fine but yeah i think i should have just added more green like different variations of green instead of adding a blue two blues on that but um it's gonna get mostly covered up so it's fine and you can see there that that paper is really really thin and um so I'm gonna try not to use as much paint for that, or at least just put the paper first and then paint, because it's really, really thin paper, 
and I thought it would give it would be good for journaling, but I can't do a lot of mixed media projects on it because I don't think the paper will handle it. I think it's gonna be more like scrapbooking type of deal. So in contrast with like the blue with the red I really like how it turned out like I think it needed like an, another color to make it pop because everything was almost the same tone like with the, I think it was like a cold I mean it's not a cold green I think it's, there's some warm there but um, I just felt it was like almost the same thing and I think red gave it a nice pop for the journal. Those are the other three of the ones that I told you that I put in before. And that's where I decided to put put them and it's I don't wanna add them the four on the on one page. I don't know why. Like I thought it was gonna be too much. But uh I like how in those it turned out. Maybe I could have even done um like an extra one on the left page, but I think this looks nice. And here I'm writing out the lyrics, and this time around I chose um, these. Is this Japanese band called Buck Tick? Um, and I really like this lyrics. Like the whole song is really nice. And in another journal that I did, um, I also added like the the Japanese writing on it, like actual Japanese. And this time, like, I thought it was too hard, so I decided just to put the translation, because uh, it was, like, really long, and I mean, I'm not that good at writing in Japanese, so I just decided to just write it down in English, and that'll be that.
that's one of the things that I drew for this journal. But that's not the main drawing. That's just like a little, little something that I drew. And uh, this, let me see. That is the drawing of, of the journal, like the main one. And I really like how the heart turned out. And I was thinking of doing maybe an acrylic painting of that or something like that. I have a... Uh, I just finished up an acrylic painting, so I, I kind of want to do another one because uh, there's so much fun and I'm learning a lot of new techniques. So maybe I'll do that like I said, another practice for paint. But yeah, that's and that's also the other red element that I wanted to add in the journal. Uh, so yeah. So for the rest of this video, um, it's pretty much. What you can see on my other videos is I'm just finishing up the journal, adding more elements, more paint. And uh, so the next video is going to be a mini journal that I did. Um, and it's a continuation of this journal. So I grabbed those words, dream or truth, because I really like them from these lyrics. And I'm going to turn to like a, a, uh, a mini journal. So you'll see that on the next video. And if you want to see what brand I'm using of for the mini journal, I did a little haul and I, I'll link it right now. But yeah, I'll leave you with some music and I hope you enjoy. I hope uh, that you keep watching these videos. I think thank you a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.